Just a cute little feathering of bang. Should it even be there? I don't know, part of me. I'm gonna say effortless 7,000 times in this video, I can already tell. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Shaquel YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I'm gonna be giving you guys a full review on one of my very favorite wigs called Destiny by Beltrass. But before I jump into it, I'm gonna remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. All right, you guys, like I mentioned, Destiny is one of my very favorite wigs and I actually just had it in my previous video where I showed about six of my favorite wigs right now. and. Oddly enough, I have never done a full review on Destiny all by itself, but I felt like it needed some time in the limelight all by itself. So here I am gonna give you all the details on this lovely piece. Now, when I first looked at the stock image of Destiny, it was not necessarily a wig that I felt I would love. I mean, it's cute, but I was like, eh, you know, it's okay. And it's not one that really spoke to my soul. But when I had the opportunity to try Destiny out, I was so pleasantly surprised because to me, it didn't look a lot like the stock image right here. Like, look at that. Look at the difference between this and this. To me, it's like almost a completely different wig. When I look at the stock image, I see like a perfect little bob with bangs and you know, that's kind of it. But when I put it on, to me, it is just this effortless, natural, just go with the flow kind of a wig that you can plop on and head out the door. It's one where I don't feel too put together, but I don't feel sloppy. I feel like it's just so, like I said, effortless and natural. Now, after looking at that stock image, you might be asking me, well, Amanda, where on earth are those bangs? Well, that is a very good question you ask. <laughs> they are here, you guys, they are here but they're just longer than you would expect. I feel like they may have trimmed them for that image because whenever I put on Destiny, these bangs are just like super long in my eyeballs. So these bangs are four to four and a half inches long. And you know what? I kind of love that because it gives you the opportunity to customize it. You can point cut these and make these much shorter for you so that you can actually see, <laughs> or you can leave them this length and brush them to the side, kind of like I had um, when I started the video, or you could even side swipe them a little bit and give them a little bit of a swoopy look. I mean, with the longer bangs, the world is your oyster. But what I do love about these bangs is that they are really wispy. They are not thick. There's not too much of them. They're nice and wispy, just a cute little feathering of bang. But I personally like them parted in the center and brushed to the sides. It just gives it that effortless look. I'm gonna say effortless 7,000 times in this video, I can already tell. All right, now the measurements for the rest of the wig, we do have from the sides here, anywhere between eight to 10 inches. So we do have a little bit of layering that helps to make the ends a little bit more feathered. And then from the nape of the neck, so back here, it is about two and a half inches long. You can even see that, I can't even get it for you. Two and a half, two and a half. <laughs> two and a half inches long from that nape there. And overall, this wig reaches up to anywhere between nine to 10 inches long. Now in that stock image you saw earlier, it looked like it was such a perfect little like bob, you know? But what I love about this is the fact that it's not so perfect. You almost have a slight wave, like it's ever so slight. And it's like, should it even be there? I don't know. Part of me is like, is this box hair? <laughs> Whatever it is. I'm here for it and I like it. Let me give you a little spin to show you this whole piece. Now with Destiny being up to about 10 inches long, this is going to be a wig that will last you a little bit longer because it's not going to brush on your shoulders, causing friction and causing the ends of your fibers to get all frizzy and frazzly as quickly as they might if it were a longer piece. And there's not gonna be as much friction on your clothing. There's also not gonna be quite as much tangling because it is a shorter piece. So when there's not as much tangling, you don't necessarily need to comb it or brush it 
quite as much. And when you do comb and brush it, that's what pulls at the fibers and causes them to frizz even more. So overall, Destiny is probably going to last you a little bit longer than your typical longer piece that goes from your shoulders and down. Now we do have a really light density here. So Destiny is a very light density and there's no permatease. Like I feel absolutely zero permatease on this piece. So it's going to be low profile, low density, and very natural and effortless. <laughs> All right, now on this cap, we do have a lace front that extends into your temples. It's really, really lovely. The knotting is not too big at all, and they do bring the lighter pieces forward on this color um, to help make the knots not quite as visible right at the front hairline there. Uh, this color is Butterbeer Blonde. This is a nice neutral to cool-ish blonde. We have some sort of platinum blonde in here, a little bit of sandy tones, and of course a medium brown root. Now, if you are familiar with Raquel Welch's color called Shaded Biscuit, RL19 slash 23 SS, that is a very similar color to Butterbeer Blonde. So here I have Shaded Biscuit just to show you the difference between it and Butterbeer Blonde. I do find Butterbeer Blonde to be like the slightest bit cooler, just so ever so slight but overall they are pretty similar colors all right now destiny also has a center part so note that this is not a full monofilament top you just have a center monofilament part there's about an inch of space here you could part it as far as you can on the left or the right and then shift your girl over a touch if you wanted to and it kind of gives you a bit of a side side part if you're into that um, and if you're comfortable with shifting or you can just keep that center part that it has been given now overall destiny is fitting average to just a little bit bigger than average there is you know quite a bit of extra room in this cap for me. I am a petite size. I measure 20.5 inches in circumference, 11 and a half front to nape, 11 and a half ear to ear. Even with my ear to ear measurements, they actually are sitting fine. They are not like impeding on my ear crease here. They're sitting at a pretty good spot. That's not bothersome for me. However, my front to nape um, with, with it being 11 and a half inches, there is some extra bulk. Um, so this would be a little bit big for someone who is a petite size like me, but I am someone who just goes with it. I just pull in the adjusters and that's going to help it fit my circumference. So as long as it fits my circumference and it's going to stay on my head, then I'm okay with it. But I know that there are people out there who want their wigs to fit like a glove. So if you are a petite size like I am, this will not fit you like a glove. <laughs> this is made more for an average to an average large. All right, let's take this off and have a quick peek at the inside of our cap here. So there is that center monofilament part I was talking about. It really is only like an inch wide, so not a ton of playing room there. And then here we do have that lace front and I love how this one goes extended into your ear tab. So it just gradually melts into your ear tab. So there's not going to be an abrupt transition from lace to the rest of your cap, which sometimes Belle Tress's Cafe Collection caps where they only have the temple to temple lace up here. They haven't always had the best transitions from lace to cap and it's been really noticeable right here. So I definitely love how Destiny has this extended lace that goes right into your ear tab here. The rest of the cap is going to be open wefted. So it's nice for ventilation and it's nice and breathable. And then we have a velvet nape here. It's not extended, just a standard velvet nape and their pull adjusters. Destiny would be a really good option for um, someone who is living in warmer weather or someone who wants to take a piece on vacation with them. Destiny is so lightweight with its light density and it's nice and breathable with its open wefted cap here. So a great option for the warmer weather. All right, since I'm here, let me show you how cute this is in a half up, half down. So there are some styling options you can do with Destiny. There we go. I love these wispy bangs in the front because they just completely hide the hairline, make it look like you're not even wearing a wig at all. So 
Here's just a cute little half a pat down. Always make sure you kind of check to see if any of your wefts are showing. So sometimes you might need to pull some hair down and kind of cover your wefting if it's showing. So make sure you look in the mirror behind you or have a trusted person to just give you a double check to make sure none of those wefts are poking through. All right, I also have a headband here to show you what that looks like. Now, whenever I wear headbands with wigs, I should say, I don't often wear headbands with wigs because sometimes I feel like it makes a wig look too perfect and too wiggy. So whenever I put a headband in, I. I kind of just plop it on. I don't spend too much time with it because I don't want it to make it look too perfect. I just sort of add it in a, in a way, if that makes sense. It doesn't serve a purpose other than just sort of being on my head and adding a little bit of an accessory. I don't make it like hold back a ton of hair. I almost make it like a messy headband look, if that makes any sense to you. Anyways, this is how I would wear a headband with Destiny. All right, now because my brain is all over the place, I did forget to mention that this is made with heat-friendly synthetic fibers, as are all of Beltrus's wigs that they make. These are one of my very favorite heat-friendly fibers on the market. They are so buttery soft, so smooth, nice and durable. Um, I just really love the feel of them, the texture of them, and I love how they're not so shiny. Really great heat-friendly fibers that you can straighten out. You also could add a curl or a wave to this if you wanted to. Just make sure you don't go past 350 degrees Fahrenheit when you're using your hot tools. And if you ever have any questions about using hot tools on your heat friendly fibers, make sure you check out um, my videos that I have done on that before. I've done several on you know how to straighten, how to curl heat friendly fibers, um, and also a video on some of my favorite tools to use on heat friendly fibers. All right, you guys, that is all I have to share with you about Destiny. If you love Destiny as much as I do, then let me know below. And if you have tried Destiny before, also let me know. I am so curious to know if I am the only one in the world who loves Destiny this much. I feel like it is such an underrated wig. I feel like not enough people know about it to even realize just how effortless it is. I need someone to go back in this video and count how many times I said the word effortless. If I'm correct, I think it's probably about 72 times. <laughs> Anyways, you guys go and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.